How y'all doing? Mr. MKL here. Let me bring this. Welcome, welcome to the most cursed setup for the most cursed product. I gotta say, folks, I am super excited to play with the Laptop Arcade 7. This thing is an absolute monstrosity. <laughs> but yo, welcome! It's, uh, it's Niche Fighter Monday, and this is the nichest of the niche. How's it going, Toby? How's it going, Taco? Welcome to the stream, y'all. This is, in fact, a show-and-tell episode. We're going to explore it. I don't know if you saw me post about it, but the Laptop Arcade 7 thing. This is a little bar top arcade made by a, um, a Chinese manufacturer. And they have promised unique, original, developed titles for this mini console. And I was like, I've, I've got to see this. This is, this is too much for me to, to pass up. Andrea, how's it going? So there is an audio out, so y'all are going to get the pristine audio experience. And right here I have my lovely Nikon camera, which is the only one good enough to actually capture the beauty that is the Arcade 7. And I'm going to have to screen cap that until I find a way to actually like tap into it and get an HDMI out or something to that effect. Right now, all we have is on the back of it, there's a USB port and a headphone jack and a power button. But the USB port is only for power. So, that, I, can't, I can't get some data connections. Mm. Um, but yeah, no video out. So it's going to be an interesting experience trying to get a good capture here. But I, I, I hope I can do it justice and show it off for you fine folks. So I guess without further ado, I, why, don't, why don't we just start off with this thing? Um, let's boot it up. All right, we're doing some uh, doing some minor adjustments. I wonder if the machine can Chromecast. If so, you may be casting capture the Chromecast output. This is one of the things that I'm looking into right now. Where, excuse me, um, because it's an Android device, there might be some ways to do that. But they're running a custom Android OS that limits any kind of you know any kind of um, regular Android OS level stuff. Um, so I have not been able to, I haven't tried Bluetooth yet, but I have not been able to get any USB connections. Like I said, the USB port is strictly power, so there's no data being pushed through it, uh, which unfortunately means that I'm kind of like less struggling with, with the god-awful um, uh, controls that we're going to have on here. Okay, so let's... Let me make sure. Oh, hello. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Folks, the laptop arcade seven. Looks a little like this. We have for context, these are my hands on it. Like, I, I mean, this is kind of unreal. This is the tiniest thing ever, and this is the most nubby nubby. It's a it's a completely 360 degree like a, a circle gate. Um, so there's no real telling. This is a, not not how you want it. There's a really long throw to it, uh, and these buttons are absolutely tiny and absolutely sticky. Um, immediately, I'm, I'm concerned I'm going to lose a couple of these buttons. But let's power this baby up. Lemon on. Let's 
So it chugs when you try to load this thing. Yeah, I really, I really hope this thing has um, some kind of controller support, some kind of Bluetooth controller support, because I will destroy my hands if I have to keep playing on this thing. So yeah, there's a custom OS locking you out of everything, no outside ports, and no way to play it outside of its cranky controller. Absolutely. This is exactly the kind of uh, hot garbo that I want in my life. So you boot it up, and this is what I think is really interesting about this, where they clearly know they have Fury Fight, they have Rupture Void, they have Fighting Master, Steam Gear, and Conspiracy Genius of the something or other, right? Then yeah, here, Pocket, pocket Cambriolet uh, Racing. Mm. We love that. So these are obviously their set piece games that they're like, we put the most time and effort into these guys, which actually makes a bit of sense because Rupture Void is one we've already seen. Um, there's some footage of it. Fighting Master, there's some footage of it. Fury Fight, right? These, these are the ones that they actually showed off. Can it run Fantasy Strike? Oh, there's the big question of the day, Turbo Taco. The settings are super bare bones. So you have a basic and then a black theme. Um, right? English and Chinese language settings. A uh, little bit of screen brightness options. And then a sleep mode. So they really don't give you. But if you look around, like if you notice the, um, uh, like the style of it, this is very like Switch styled interface. Yes, it, this is absolutely Andrea. This is so cursed. It makes a full 360 and becomes blessed again. I, I, this is oh so up my alley. I can't believe it. <clears throat> All right, so yeah, so we have these set-piece games, but there's a hundred plus games on this, and they just toss them all into more games. Tennis, baseball, bowling, highway racing, mini soccer. These are not the relax list. The Dart Warriors and Eddie's Story. Like, these are not gonna be great games. Yeah, there is a battery indicator up there. Um, the it's It lasted, it's fine, I played it for like, a couple hours and it was absolutely fine so um you're gonna get decent like cheap you know 50 to 100 dollar range tablet battery life is probably what you should expect out of it what's going on monk excellent yeah let me let me know folks if everything is sounding good if uh if i need to change anything up like i said this is the most cursed setup i've had for a stream in a long while so i'm not sure what it's actually going to be looking like but you got a bunch of puzzle games, sliding box games. These are all super like D and E tier um, Android games or mobile games, right? Like these are not the 100% unique, super interesting and fun games that they were promising in the ads. These six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six games. I definitely buy that they're a little bit better. Yo, shout outs. Thanks for the follow there. It was Cantron. Much appreciated. It is a touch screen, but it doesn't touch. So they seem to have locked it out. There was a couple instances where the touch screen did work. Um, so I'm wondering if it's just like the OS locks it out. Um, this is, ah, I'm gonna have to figure out what's going on. Like I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, yeah, I'm gonna have to see if I can boot into safe mode. Uh, I'm gonna have to put my safety hat on. Thank you, Andrea. Much appreciated for the follow. Thank you, I appreciate, Monk, that you've already started begun writing the eulogy for my wrists. I'm gonna need it. <laughs> Taco. So this thing, I managed to get, I managed to get a coupon. So shipping all in, it was like 120 bucks. I know, every, that's right, Andrea, why would, why not just let me have a touchscreen interface? If you're going to have a touch-based screen, just let me have a touchscreen interface. But oh no, right? Like, this is, it's such a weird thing. Every time I dig a little bit deeper, it gets wilder and wilder. Um, but I had to do it. So, okay. I think we should start off with Fury Fight. I will note, I'm on a bit of a time limit with this thing, because I only got the one battery for my Nikon, and there is no AC adapter for this thing. So... 
I want to I wanna be able to show this off. Let's not waste any more time. So, Fury Fight. Oh, this is... So, this is the side-scrolling brawler. Um, I'm going to hop into this for a quick second just to show you. This is the side-scrolling brawler, the one that they put a lot of time into. So, if you like some Streets of Rage... Then we're going to have this. Let me turn up the volume for you. But this is not the best tablet out there. Like I said, this is a cheap tablet. So it is slow. It chugs along. You could see this loading bar just chug. Oh, man. But all of the characters in this game here, this side-scrolling brawler, are actually in the fighting game as well. They are the Rupture Void characters. So they've the developers have created a whole universe uh, with like crossover characters. Boom, that's my super, right? Like, I don't understand why they would have gone to these lengths to create such, um, yeah, I don't know. A unique, to create a unique IP with different, different game styles all in the same universe, it's so weird. Oh, no SP, I see. Animations are a bit janky. Yeah, right? No, the, the designs themselves, you're right. The designs themselves are kind of nice, but the animations are janky. And that is something that we actually noticed when we were looking at some of the trailers. Oh, even this. I have to walk, like, upright in order to get through those. Come on, I can't even get out of the boxes. Oh, this isn't good. Folks. <laughs> Come on, let me out. There we go. There we go. Woo! I thought I had soft locked. I was worried. Yo, we got lightning legs. We got spinning bird kick. She's, she's a bit of a Chun-Li, obviously. Here we go. Weapons. That's right. But, like, the AI is, AI is not doing much. Like, this is... I understand. Like, at the very least, the look of it, you're like, okay, I can appreciate that they put a bit of work into this kind of stuff. And, yo, yeah, the steel pipe is for real. Oh, we got throws. Slam you into the ground. Dashing attacks as well. So, like, yeah, I am, like, I am actually kind of suitably impressed as, like, a low-level, uh, you know, like, uh, uh, your general cheapish mobile effort. But, yo, this is Niche Fighter Monday. This isn't Niche Brawler Monday, right? So that, my friends, is Fury Fight. And now we're going to go into, I think, what we all want. We want the Rupture Void, don't we? That's definitely Blaze's throw from Streets of Rage, 100%, right? They clearly looked at it and were like, okay, what can we take from all of these legacy titles and kind of just, like, mishmash? That's kind of, like, par for the course for, for a lot of mobile development, right? Yeah, these loading times are something else. Here's the music, though. The sounds and music in these two games absolutely sound original to me. They may have just purchased them from like some sound bank somewhere, but I haven't heard anything super, super obvious that I've come across before. Okay, so. 
similar um, uh, right font style. This is, like I said, Rupture Void. This has the Red Sheep, which was the character that I was playing in uh, Fury Fight, right? So she's the Chun-Li type, char type character. Yeah, the SF4 ripoff is the third one, Monk, and then Rupture Void is uh, seems to be another original game. Like I said, this one is set in the same universe. So number six here is one of the um, enemies. He's like the the street urchin enemy. Uh, there's a boss character. I don't know who these girls are. Um, we have a creepy clown dude. And then these three at the top, I believe, are the playable characters from Fury Fight. So they are like the main protagonists in the series, obviously. And then these are the supporting enemy casts and big bads, I'd wager. But I want to be the best number six player in the world. Number one, number six. Here we go. These loading times, as you say though, right? Let me see if I can't uh, tighten this up for you fine folks. Alrighty. So number six, this here is a is a three button fighter. You have um, lights and mediums, standing and crouching, and you can, there's like a bit of a chain combo system. Yo, Guile win quote. Thanks for the follow. And then uh, your heavy buttons is you just have the one, and it's like so it's like a universe. I believe it's a universal overhead, and it also like gives this little pop up animation, right? Um, but look at this. Look at this back dash. What is this? Okay, excellent. I'm glad the video is clean enough. I'm glad you can make it out. So what do we got? We look in here, we got at the top here, um, whoop, up here we got our move list. Uh, so this is a Rekka character. Got quarter circle forwards A and B, and then a Rekka, and then a super, right? And I am so happy that they did one thing right in this game, and they have one button supers. Because I ain't doing a double quarter circle forward and then hitting two buttons at the same freaking time on this godforsaken thing. There's no way that I'm doing that. And so some of these things give crazy juggle states. Yo, okay, the movement in this game though, leaves something to be desired. Your regular forward jump is so bad. It actually cannot get over characters if you stay, if you just regular forward jump. You have to run jump in order to be able to cross them up. And also you can only do one move in the air and like comboing air attacks into grounded attacks is like stupid hard. Like, you're not doing it anytime soon. Yo. There is, there is, there's a, yeah, there's a regular jump, like I said, which does that. And doesn't even get, oh, there you go, there you go, I can, can kind of almost get over the short character. And then there's that. Full screen hops. Right? And that's his Rekka, which leaves him in that little juggle state, right? There doesn't seem to be really any infinite prevention. So I can just get first hit Rekka and then Magic Series, but the second one pops them up nice and high. Oh, come on. Where's my quarter circle back? and then you can grab them again. I have not seen that this thing connects to the internet yet. 
Um, once again, like the the custom OS is so freaking limited that it really like I I can't see much of what is actually available on the hardware itself. Burn it all down. But this this freaking dude is gonna pull out a motorcycle and bash you over the head. And he has this like giant ass flash kick. Oh, but that jump, that jump hurts my hurts my soul. That's what that's what we really need, Andrea. We need to find a way to dump the APK and try to run it on an actual legitimately good tablet that you can plug a controller into. I would love to be able to do that. Um, I think if I can get this thing with a data connection through USB plugged into a PC, I can do that. Um, so that's kind of like my my goal right now is can I pull that one off? Does it? Ah, no. So slow. Oh, yeah. And you can, like, you can stop your runs, too. So you get this little slide animation, which is actually pretty dope. See? And that doesn't even connect. That makes me so sad. And that didn't even either, did it? Holy heck. These mans don't want you to combo into your super. There we go. Okay, got to go into it from the Rekkas. That's how we do it. So, okay, let's find out how good the AI is in fact. Enough, enough mucking around in training mode. I gotta be the number one, number six. I gotta at least play. Yeah, meter is just for super as far as I can tell. But could you imagine folks, could you imagine if we found a way to connect two of these things over the internet? Get ourselves a, a rupture void session going. Like, look at this. Like, they've put work into the design and the animation and the character creation. Like, they legitimately went out of their way to make a freaking, like, a unique IP like they said they would. I just... I am eternally fascinated by this. Yeah, I'm gonna actually have to go into the versus mode. I, it just like, just as I clicked on arcade, I was like, wait a second, versus? Why would there bother being a versus? I haven't spent that much time with this thing yet, folks. I wanted to, I wanted to savor the experience and find it with you. Well, it knows how to anti-air. Oh, we got air techs. And note, there is a guard, like a defense meter, at the um, at the top under my health bar. So there is some kind of um, some kind of guard meter or guard break, possibly. Come on. Oh, so that's not a true combo. Interesting. Okay, there are air techs. Oh, I'm intrigued. And I don't seem to be able to follow up with my Rekkas on block.
can't combo off that. Nope. But yo, I can do that low to the low to the ground though. Oh no! Yeah, you don't want to be in the air, really. It doesn't seem to provide any benefit. Yo, time up? I can't believe- Okay, I eked out a- I eked out a round. Alright. Come on. Just wanna fish? Oh, dang. Oh, counter with the low. Can I not combo off that? Yeah, and only one air action. That also hurts my soul a bit. Yeah, AI is like... Just not messing around. It'll block everything, and it's counter hitting me out of a lot. And like, the guard meter does not go down all that much. Like, it takes so much work, and it goes back, and it fills up so quickly. Oh, come on. Oh, finally get a hit. Oh, come on. Oh, get back in there. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I just I just haven't learned the TODs yet. That's exactly right. Okay, who's the next rival? Let's go. Oh, we got the creepy clown? I'm actually really interested by their like character like their character choices. Like the character designs are kind of interesting. Oh no. Okay, so a little bit Wolverine. Oof. Oof. Oh, he's got a he's got a Gatling gun. That's a bit much, don't you think? Oh no. Yeah, can't really combo off of my lights much, so I really do have to go into the... 
into the headbutt, it seems. Oh, shoot. I dropped the third hit. Oh wow, that's super damage though. Did you see that? Come on. Chip him out. Is there no chip death? Oh, come on! I was so close! Round two. Let's go. Oh, there's the big counter hit. Oh, now it's too fast? Getting that, like... Oh, no. Oh, no. We got that. Yeah, you can combo sweep into headbutt. Because, like, honestly, my specials aren't really comboing off of light and the my stand medium, right? But I, if I go sweep headbutt, then it will be... It, it tends to combo. Okay, here we go. We got the Chun-Li character now. The red sheep. Is this, like, a little red riding hood, but, like... Sheep and wolf and sheep's clothing, like mixed metaphor. Are we having fun? Round one. The damage on Connor hit does seem really high, right? Like standard damage, not so much. Super damage and counter hit, yeah. Oh, the reach! Or maybe he just doesn't do that much damage. Oh, come on, where's my flash kick? Get out of here. Hit her? Nice! Right? That's such big damage. Oh, there she goes. Yep. There she goes indeed. Oh, no. Ah, yes. I see that. All right. Give it a sec. See if it stabilizes. Um, I, I can go and drop my quality if need be. Too far to combo the headbutt. And it's not an overhead. Oh no! At least if the headbutt was an overhead. Oh, she can't. She, you're just gonna do that to my to my motorcycle? Come on! Oh, 
There we go. Okay. Sweep into flash kick. Getting that round. Now I just gotta do it again. Oh yeah, the o the old arcade ki trick. You're right. Having an AI just deal super mad damage for some reason. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, there you go. Lightning legs into super for her. Dude, the whiff punish is real. Oh, the drop kick? I was not expecting that. At least I'm landing supers every now and again. Vicious. Game over. Yeah, the AI is a little bit serious, I got to admit. I mean, of course, it's... Look at this, look at this monstrosity. Like, I don't know if you can really appreciate how unbelievably bad this arcade stick is. The buttons I can actually live with despite being a little sticky. But holy heck, that arcade stick is um, something, something else. Yeah, like why air tech after the supers, right? I'm like, what? I don't know what indicates when they're able to air tech out of anything. Yes, okay. Very curious about the versus mode. Versus CPU versus player. We're gonna find out together. But how? But how? Okay. Okay. If they're serious, I'm going to try this. Sorry. Yeah, I gotta find out. Oh, it was 150? Yo, you gotta find a coupon. F find one of those coupons. Like I said, I got it for 120 Canadian, so. All right. I need a USB cable, because I am trying to plug in a controller regardless of what any of this controller this nonsense says. Oh no! It's gotta go to a mini! It's gotta go to a mini USB! I can't do it! Ah, oh, shoot! Yo, I don't have a micro to micro. And yes, there isn't, there is also an SD card slot on the back. Um, which will let you load up your own ROMs. It has an emulator built into it, uh, so you can load your own ROMs. So if you wanted to play Street Fighter on this or, uh, you know, Waku Waku 7, you could totally do that. It has to be. I have to believe that this thing exists on some other device, right? And honestly, if it doesn't, I'm going to make sure it does.
Oh, that's so unfortunate. All right. I guess I'm going to have to get myself a um, micro SD, or sorry, a micro USB to micro USB and see if I can't get two players working. There exists a two player mode. Oh, jeez. That tiny, your tiny SF2 stick will do the trick. Oh, shoot. That's amazing! And yeah, there's no there's no difficulty setting even. This is all we got. Oh man, I know. I need to get this. I need to get this on Fightcade. I need to get this on something. Oh man. Well, yo, do do y'all want to see a little bit more of uh, Rupture Void? I think we can do that. I, I can uh, I can find another character here. Let's uh, let's let's go. Let me go uh, training mode and let's discover a new character and see what they're all about. I know, I have to find this thing, I have to manage to get this thing off of this unit, somehow. Who do we want to see, folks? We got the Nomad. Sakura and Aoi. Dr. Marissa. Big Rogan! No, there are, there are at least two other, or sorry, there's at least one other um, fighting game. Uh, there's a brawler, and then there's at least one more fighting game. Yeah. Excel, how you doing? Welcome to the chat. Who do we want to see? Arado, Hawkeye. We played some number six. Do we want to see some big Rogan? The creepy spirit girls, the shrine maidens. Guile mixed with, I don't know, Captain Commando? Sweet Tooth? Pandatronics, welcome to the stream. Alright. It's been decided. Once again, folks, just for context, like... This is... This is my hand. Like... The, I, this is so small. I am going to, like, soak my hands for hours when I'm done this stream. Their dashes are wild. All right, he's got a charge attack. Cross, but cross baby. The tender angel chainsaw and, of course, his super sweet Cupid. Oh, that's it. All right. Yeah, this thing is so much smaller than I expected it to be. I was, like, expecting at least one and a half times the size it is. Oh, jeez. That's just his ABC. Okay. And that's the chainsaw. All right. Yo, you got like no movement. Where's your sh movement, clown? Are we serious? Yeah, but this can be teched out of.
Nice, Guile win quote, you've ordered it. This is amazing. This means that there's at least, they've sold at least three of these things, to my knowledge. They, they did, right, Andrea? They made some efforts with their designs. Like, it's, it's actually legitimately impressive, the, the lengths that they went to. Oh, wow. So the question is, how do I combo into that thing? Because that's dope. Yeah, at least three. Steven Hunt, Ninjister, yep. That's right. They bought one too. This is amazing. And it does look rather impressive for... Um, uh, for an Android game, right? Like... It, they weren't lying when they said they actually wanted to make unique, original games that weren't just your, like, rehashed or bought from someone else. Like, they... Kudos to the developers for that. And there's like original VA, VA voiceover work in this. So like, folks, we need to find out who worked on this game. Not only the developers, but if we can track down one of these voice actors, that would be amazing. Oh, come now. Well, that knocks down. Ah, oh, the slowness of it all! You can seem to cancel into super whenever the heck you want, though. I know, I really wish we had more info on it. Um, this is it, where I, I, I'm gonna have to, like, at the very least at some point, I'm gonna have to beat arcade mode, um, just so I can see if there's a credit roll. Because I just... We gotta find some credits! Yo, Laser Scraper. Welcome to the chat. I don't know, was it? I haven't played much uh, Guilty Gear. Guilty Gear is not my... Um, typically my jam, so... But you folks need to tell me if you recognize... If you recognize some, uh, some sound effects from somewhere. Because there is another game in this, in this little device that is, in fact, um, wildly ripped from other games. Um, so... Um, actually, Guile Win quote. Uh, you probably have the link since you since you just purchased it. Uh, if you want to drop the AliExpress link, um, that would be great. Uh, I'm just my setup is not super well designed for that right now. Booyah! So there's the Amazon one. Yeah, if you if you find that on AliExpress, it'll actually be a little bit cheaper. That's been my experience. All right, Arado, be like that. There we go. Do some zoning. Oh, never mind. He's going to shadow step in. Yo, these dashes are unreal, aren't they? Just 
do it. Raw super. He's just gonna walk away from it. Yo, for real, man. Like, this, uh, the AI is no joke. Okay, excellent, excellent. Managed to get the link. Good stuff. Wow, man, Big Rogan is a big boy and is very slow. But he does, he's got Wolverine heavies. Oh, come on, doesn't reach from that range? The AI is too good. Like, honestly, they're just blocking everything. Oh, okay. Counter hit jump in to, to heavy actually worked. Oh, this is bad. He got Bandit Bringer. It's true! Oh my god, it's true! It's impossible, Pandatronics. You cannot find information about these games outside of like the listings for this machine. Like I legitimately have not been able to track them down. It's so frustrating. Even the custom OS, Lemon On, what the hell is that? Like, ah, oh, bud, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> the reverse search of number six got you JoJo characters, of course. What else is it going to give you? Oh man, you found one wiki with only the character names. Yeah, Laser Scraper, right? That's why I started looking into this initially, where I'm like, is this just, like, repurposed from somewhere else? Is it a cheap knockoff? What is it? Like, uh, and then I found out that it was kind of, like, all original stuff, and I'm like, all right, like, who made this stuff? And it's just been a wild ride until now, here we have, I have Rupture Void in my lap. It's fascinating. This is totally fascinating. And I really, really need to get... I said Lemon OS. Yeah, it's, it, it says it's Lemon Go. And it's the picture of, it's like a drawing of a lemon. And it says Lemon Go, on, or Lemon On. Sorry, that's what it is. Um... And it's like, I'm assuming that that is, but that also appears at the start when you boot up one of the games. So it is either the name of the developer, or it is the name of the OS. And I haven't been able to suss that one out yet. Alright. Because there's so much propaganda in the world, of course the cop is going to be strong, so let's try him out. Also, of course, welcome to the stream, Frostalite. Lemon OS is a thing. Interesting. Okay. I did find one thing. It was like a lemon phone, which is a super low-end phone being sold by a company for primarily the Indian market. 
Um, and I'm wondering if they just like licensed that to have a cheap OS to work with. Okay, we got dragon punches. Oh, hello. Atatsu as well. Oh, it's a three hitter, and that's safe? It hits three times, and it's safe? Oh my lord. Why would they do that? Oh, dude, he goes Super Saiyan. All right, I gotta, I gotta land that and see what it's all about. Come on, give me a bit of meter, son. Oh no, I was too late. Yeah, this seems to be the Shoto of the game. The announcer is all of KOF 14 as Street Fighter Cross Tekken and Vanilla 4 in that order. Oh no. Oh no, big counter hit. Hit him? Yos! Yo! Okay. That was worth it. I'm sorry. Yeah, this, this like, casual 90s rock song or whatever it is, I'm just like, this sounds like a Budweiser commercial from the late 90s. Okay, alternatively a little bit like Soundgarden. That's a that's a crouching medium punch if I've ever seen one. He must be a Shoto. Oh no! I should have waited for the second hit. That was almost sick. Ah, oh, come on. Let me in. Let me in, you nomad. Dust to dust. Yo, the only Laptop 7 combo video, it's coming. Don't you, don't you folks worry. I am getting ready for it. This is, this is my research time with all y'all hanging out with me, which I appreciate. 
Yo, no chip on super hurts on so many levels. The jump arc hurts on so many levels. The lack of like air air options hurts on so many levels. But but in all fairness, like this is not a totally poorly constructed game. Like they have some solid ideas of just like chain system into special, right? It's your base fighting game stuff, but it's not totally poorly executed. I think the form that it's on does it a huge disservice. Where if you could just play this as a casual mobile game with some like tough love arena style controls, that would be another matter entirely. Oh no, who is this? Oh no, she teched out. Yo, is there like... It looked like I had a different block animation and I had just tapped forward. I'm like, is there a parry? Yeah, tech in there. <gasps> oh, no, super. This is gonna hurt. I have not been able to land a throw. Um, there's no throw button as far as I can tell. There's... There is... A, like... Taunt slash charge up your super. Get hit. Oh, you blocked it? Alrighty. Get no the tail. Yo, this guy feels like he's plus on everything in the world, though. Fighting Master Ultimate, which is only in names. Yeah, there you go. There's so little information about this thing. It's a, uh, it's a, it's an enigma wrapped in a riddle, wrapped in a vest. Girl, stop with that move. Like, and there's no jump mobility, so it's so hard to get around anything that she's putting out. Oh no, wait, I actually got counter hit? Oh no. Yeah, and I'm trying to get in for like a directional throw, but it's just not working. Oh, dude! There's invincibility if on projectiles? On your super startup? Oh, man. Okay. Yo, you're right. Man's a cop and he has no gun special? He's got it on his hip right there. It's right there. I see it. I see the gun. I mean, I appreciate that a police officer decides that he has the gun and doesn't need to use the gun. This is a good thing in my books. 
It was Ninjister who created those pages? Of course! Oh, bless Stephen Hunt. Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, sorry. Got owned by the Nightbot. Ayo. Oh, this is so amazing. He twirls the gun as his intro. How did that hit? What kind of a hitbox does his dragon punch have? Oh, serious? I canceled it too early. Oh no, I freaking teched into it. What is wrong with me? I'm screaming at this money laundering scheme. <laughs> I know, right? Like... Who needed to clean their cash? Does it hit? Yes, it hits! Let's freaking go! Oh, and the damage on it! Dark King, welcome to the chat. Of course, bye followers. Thank you for that. Always appreciate you looking out for me and wanting to offer me opportunities to buy follows on Twitch. Nothing, nothing like it. This is why you gotta read the comments before you just start, you know, actually speaking them out loud. Oh, get out of here, son. I can't believe that grounded him. Yo, everything in this game seems to be safe on block, though. Nice, yo. Getting c, -c, -c comboed by this thing. I'm taking one more stab at this guy. Round one. Oh jeez, this is not a good start. Oh no, the flash kick one out. Thank you. 
That's how I get all my damage here, folks. Yo, that's like the only move that's unsafe. Jump heavy. Go figure, jump heavy of all moves is unsafe? Unfortunately, no, there's like, there's no difficulty settings for the game. There's no, um, it's just like volume settings and stuff like that. Uh, so I can't even set it to one round. There we go. Dust to dust into super. Come on, where are my specials at? Oh, my wrist is starting to die. <laughs> this is vicious. I can't even get anything out. And Pandatronics, that is in fact what I'm wondering. How, how long? Yeah, the corner pressure. That might be how it goes. You just, you just, you jab, dust, jab, dust, and then once you land dust, you go into that super. That's, that's all I got against the AI right now. And Monk, yeah, exactly. Like, how long do I play with this thing before I say to myself, okay, let me just um, tear this thing apart and see if I can't get to it from the inside. And yes, Andrea, I think I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a quick little break. I'm gonna grab a drink, and then we're gonna come back and look at um, not Fury Fight, was it? No. What what even was it called? Fighting Masters. We're gonna be back in just a quick second, and we're gonna take a look at Fighting Masters. Yeah, the camera's, camera's still on. I still... We, st we still got it. We still got it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right, folks. I'll be right back. I'm going get, to get a quick drink. And then we're going to check out some Fighting Masters. It's going to be good times. This is... This is... <sighs> The Laptop Arcade 7 only gets more exciting as we go, folks. Street Fighter 4 to the remix.